Hi, welcome to Catholic Nest. So I thought I'd share with you uh, a haul on insect and bug resources um, that I uh, brought to go alongside our arthropod study. We're doing an arthropod study by the Good and the Beautiful, which I've done a previous video about. And it is a standalone uh, science unit, but um, the children are enjoying it. And so I just thought I'd buy a few more resources for our bookshelves for them to pull out and have a look at off the back of our unit study. So the first one is this big book of bees and it is huge. Our children do really like the huge books and they come off the shelf the most. The illustrations are lovely. It's got a good amount of information in with lots of lovely colourful pictures. Great for a, an arthropod study like we're doing or for a unit study on bees. Really good and one of my favourites already. The second insect book I brought was an encyclopedia of insects. So they did a bit of research on an insect each the other week and we could have really done with this. Our, so they really like this because it's nice and simple layout, nice colourful picture of the uh, insect and just a manageable amount of information under each one. Excuse my one-year-old, she is in the room with me. I'm sure you can hear her. So this is really nice and I think appealing too. Mm -hmm. The third book I just couldn't resist because it's so, uh, so nice and visual. And there is a part at the end of our unit study about scorpions and I don't really have a great deal on that but there's a good double spread in here. So I really like this, it's a pop-up book. Let me show you. So it has loads of little movable parts, it has loads of information packed in and a beautiful pop-up on each page. So it's very fragile so it wouldn't be for little, little children. So it is one that I'm going to put on our high bookshelf for older children. So you see you can really take this insect apart and you can read about the different segments because it is a little fiddly to put back together it probably require a bit of adult supervision so all of these are little flaps little insects information points You can stand them up and have a good look. Why the world needs bugs. Different ways of growing. Lots of little, little bits. It's just really inviting to have a look at and I just know they're going to love it. I think children just find bugs fascinating whether they love them or they hate them. And this is the double spread that I was referring to. So, ultimate bugs, deadliest, strongest, heaviest, longest, most explosive, longest life cycle. So it's got really good, and it's a really good look at this scorpion as if it's there on the table. I can have a look at all the elements of it. So that's a really nice one by George McGavin and it's just called Bugs A Pop-Up Journey. So that's the three books I brought and I just threw this in the cart too by I Like. It's 400 reusable stickers of bugs. Now um, my four-year-old is joining us for our unit study purely because she wants to and she kind of does um, a much more basic version than the older ones and hers does involve a lot of colouring and stickers and um, this would be great 
mainly for her, but the others can also use it to decorate their science journals with. The fifth thing is some glow sticks. Um, one of the chapters we're learning about glow bugs and the, it suggested using glow sticks to help explain the science behind it. And uh, the final chapter of our unit study um, suggests that you get an ant world, uh, an ant farm. Now obviously you could put one together yourself but I haven't opened this yet but on the pictures online it looked really good how thin it was that you could see from both sides what the ants were up to and it came with all the bits so nice and easy to go ahead with. So I'll open it and show you inside. So we've got the soil bit to go inside and the stand. Piece of tubing here. I'm assuming this is the bits to catch your ants with. Put them in. And nicely wrapped up here we have the ant world and it has some things to put on please handle with care live animals inside and then you can put on some of these stickers on it I think to make it look more realistic and then we've got um, a nice instruction manual how to put it all together so I may feature this in a future video while doing when we get to this point in our unit study. So what I liked about this was the thinness that if I thought was if it was too fat, like a see-through lunchbox that the ants could hide in the middle and they might miss out on um, a lot of the activity that the ants were up to. Whereas at least with it being so thin, they'd be able to have a good look and really learn a bit more from it. And of course, it's reusable, so having so many children see it as an investment. Something that they could do each summer even. So that's uh, the insect law one, I think. Or Nick Baker. So that's my uh, bug haul there for the rest of the summer. And that's going to be our main science this term. And then we've enjoyed doing the Good and the Beautiful uh, arthropod unit so far and um, definitely consider doing a different theme next term. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.